Alright, we're gonna start recording. We can just edit it. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to the fourth after show episode of Virtual Survivor Season 2. We have a lot to discuss. There was two eliminations in this episode, and let's just get right into it. We always start for our new like guests on the podcast. Cast, which is also Declan from season one and Kyle from season one. Also, I'm pretty sure y'all were production members, correct? Yes. Okay, yeah. so they also have a lot to say to like about what happened on this season. And you can't spoil, by the way, for the viewers. And there goes my plans. Okay. Yep. <laughs> but like, let's just get straight into it because this episode was really good compared to the other episodes we saw on season two. It's really good because a lot has happened. At the start of the episode, we see Devin's um, reaction to getting an advantage, and then he also found out that Tyler was after him. Wait, is that true? Because in every confessional we see of Tyler, I feel like I've only seen them talk about like other people other than Devin. Uh, yeah, they had a they had a bit more of a feud. It wasn't majorly made note of in Tyler's confessionals, but they were most definitely after each other. Devin because he knew Tyler was targeting him and Nick and Tyler because he had a majority alliance that he believed was real, except uh, it wasn't. But that majority alliance he believed was real excluded Devin and Nick, I believe. And I think, was Andy not in that one? I believe he was, I can't remember. So wait, there was a majority alliance, a fake majority alliance that subtracted both Nick and Devin but also made sure Tyler was mm-hmm. comfortable because he was not part of Snap 7 or... I believe yeah, it was, well, a, it was Cr- a thick personal alliance that no one really treated secret- seriously other than Tyler. So it was, it was like, like a so backup plan Hudson. to the Snapchat 7. Yeah, mm-hmm. it was a, it was a six person alliance. It was Scott, Hudson, Tyler, Andy, Seared, and one other one. Victor, maybe, I think. Victor was definitely in there. I don't know if Andy was yeah. in there. But... It was okay. those six because it wasn't Jesse, I can tell you that much. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's see. For Jero, is it Jeromu? I think I'm saying that right, correct? Jeromu, yes, yeah. Jer- okay, Jeromu. Um, when I think Tyler was doing too much, and I felt as if he was playing hard too fast. Like, do you agree? Like, as yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. There was no, no point to making the fake idol. There was. I didn't understand that move at all because it had after the after effects weren't going to do anything he had no benefits for making that fake idol only negatives I, maybe he can explain why he did it and what he thought it was going to do for him but as a person looking on it didn't look like it would really do anything positive for him like I'm pretty sure Hudson was the one that like said this on this confessional where it's like no one trusts him I felt and like everyone was looking towards him Wait, was it? Did he tell people that he made this fake idol or no? No, he didn't. Yeah. People just kind of knew. Found out. I feel like if he'd executed it well enough, would have worked. But mm-hmm. yeah. who follows? Who on earth makes fake account follows themselves? It's just pointless. Yinny, Kabe. Um, Kabe had a lot of tension this episode. We have Jonah who does not trust James, but hopes that he still votes out Logan. We have. Um, whatchamacallit, um, James and, um, what's Goody debating on who they want to stay in the game. And then we have Logan, who is, like, figuring out all these sides. Like, like, who wasn't loyal to him on the one vote. Who is actually going to be loyal to him if he stays. And then, oh, I don't know why I wrote Victor in this chat, but I'm pretty sure... Oh yeah, no, no, I I skipped Victor. He also does not trust Tyler, and because, I don't know. Wait, hold on, we're gonna cut this out. I'm pretty sure this is another Jerome move, and I believe we got, like, Victor and Nick um, confessionals where they just say they don't trust Tyler, so it's like, it's something, it's gonna be repeating. Jesse's just so lucky because he's in these positions where it's like, he's not, he's like a target, but then it's like, there's people that are just, like making the subs bigger than targets. Yeah, Tyler put himself in front of Jesse <clears throat> by doing what he did. Yes, but Jesse isn't doing anything to help his situation. Hudson talked about this where he said he'll message Jesse and Jesse won't respond for a day and a half. Mm-hmm. 
and that's not good. You have to be active in some capacity in this game in order to create these relationships that you can rely on in a vote. So he's not really doing much to help himself. No, I agree. Like, I feel like if you're not going to be active, you're definitely seen as a weak player and you shouldn't be there. My prediction is for the next episode, I think there's a tribe swap. Like, I think there's going to be three tribes of five for some reason. Like, it's Final 15 and I'm pretty sure we did that last season, so I'm pretty sure there's going to be a tribe swap. If not, they're going to swap at 14. Okay, but we like, let's we can't comment. We can't we comment. Copy. You can't comment. It's fine. But like, Eve, do you think there's a tribe swap? No, I don't think they copy our season. I think they do something <laughs> original. Yeah. So when we get to the challenge, it was revealed to everyone that both tribes will be competing for individual immunity. There will be two individual immunity winners, and there will be a double tribal. Ultimately, the winners were Rebecca. I, I kind of assumed she was going to win, considering she has season one of her blood. And then we have Hudson. I was impressed by Hudson. I feel like he's, he's stepping out of the shadows each and every single episode. I, like, as we progressively see him. So I think that's pretty good. All right, Eve, what are your thoughts on this whole Jerome plan? Where it's like, like, people are targeting Jesse, people are targeting Tyler, and people are targeting Nick. Like, what are your thoughts? Um, I think it's sensible they're targeting Jesse and Tyler because Tyler's obviously messed up. He's shown he's not trustworthy. You know, he's trying to further his game in the most ridiculous way possible, trying to make moves that's just not really appropriate at the time. And that could, like, obviously if they kept him in, he might try and make a move by flipping on them or something like that. And then also with Jesse, like Declan said, he's literally inactive. So I think logically targeting them is a good idea. Um, if Nick was on the bottom of his tribal, like, alliances, then I think it's a good thing to target Nick. But I don't think I would typically go for him. He seems like he, he knows what he's doing a lot more than some of the people in that tribe. Okay, so you already like talked about this so Tyler and Devin they had their own little like drama their own beef like behind the scenes but also showed okay we're gonna talk about travel later but like my only concern is for Tyler at least why not vote out Jesse I mean it's basically the safest option there's already like a fake idol that was played and people are just scattering i don't think it was a good move just to like try to start a blind side because that also put more attention on his back yeah i just think it also it, most of it stemmed from tyler believing he had a lot more power than he did so tyler he felt comfortable didn't. not going he felt comfortable not going for the easy vote in jesse and instead taking out someone he wanted out in nick instead of someone he should have taken out in jesse so i'm also seeing that Devin and Tyler, they did the spy shack method where one goes on a, a call. Wait, so like, wait, was it like a Snapchat call or like what? Because I know like it's Snapchat Discord. Call. Oh, it was Discord and With then like Snapchat something seven. else, right? Like a Zoom? Uh, I think he's probably, Snapchat well, he was, Snapchat I don't even know, but I think he was using two phones to somehow yeah, have so like, people like listen you guys did this to me last time where you we, had we did people they are doing the same methods too like Devin was like on the phone with Tyler and apparently Ty Tyler threw out Andy Victor another person's name that I didn't hear basically the whole tribe just basically just like why trust Devin why are you giving information to Devin you don't trust him you are after him don't give them information unless you're gonna like tell these people hey I'm gonna falsely say this to Devin so don't worry about it or something like well, yeah that. he thought he was he thought he was probably just lying to Devin to like just saying these names that he think he thought would make Devin like feel comfortable not knowing that he was in a, a bigger more powerful alliance than them. yeah but I felt like that also got people to like not trust Tyler and that's what well, led to it it actual. just made the case worse yes but like I also no, what I'm saying is that if he at least told these people that he's gonna lie to them and say like, hey, oh yeah, yeah. say these this, and I'm not gonna mean it. So like just know that I'm still with you guys. However, I think it was he was just like too messy at this point, and Jesse sadly fell into Tyler's pocket at the end of the day. Okay, let's see. Logan's going home unanimously. I felt as if the confessionals were leading towards Logan staying for some reason. Like, I had a feeling Logan was going to stay this whole episode. Because I know you guys like misdirect sometimes when it comes to confessionals. Especially yeah, we had, we, had a, we had a very lopsided towards the people that were 
not likable in the situation, being <laughs> very, very arrogant. I can say from production side, at this point in the game, the trio of Jonah, Seb, and Rebecca was not in the good graces of production. We did not like that. Yeah. I like them. They're great. <laughs> it's just they got too cocky and like they talked it down to people. Like I didn't I didn't mess with that. That's I don't like that. Like cause as soon as you get so comfortable now. and cocky, you're gonna get knocked down. That's no. happened repeatedly last season. No, I agree. No, I definitely agree. Because this like this whole episode I was getting so annoyed at the four, like minus the five minus James, but like I was getting annoyed mostly at Raul, Seb, Rebecca, and Jonah. Because I mean Jonah's fine. I mean like I, I could just see him playing the game. He's not really being arrogant, you know. Like in it, my well, the way eyes. he talked to people, like he he, yeah, like, he had an art. He like he he was so mean to James, and like he like because James voted for Jonah. Mm -hmm. Oh, he, oh yeah. Com Jonah completely was just off, like not very nice to James. And de look look what happened to that. Yeah. Look and then what we'll, happened. James yeah. flipped. And then yeah, okay. So like the confessionals even like mess like was messy because even Raul like he went on like flip. Didn't he like flip off Logan? And for yeah. what? <laughs> for what? Like, bruh, it's a game. I, but like, also kind of funny. <laughs> bro, I'm not gonna like wrong him a great that. character. That's yeah. all. We have all of them. They were amazing confessionalistic characters. Like, I, I like all of them now. But just during the game, for as from a production member standpoint, it, they were so arrogant that it was not it was easy for, to find anything. It was rootable. hard to like them, basically. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I was also, during this episode, screaming at James and Goody to flip. Like, I am kid you not, when you made confess they made confessionals debating on flipping, I was like, like, James was like, I don't know if it's the right move for me. I was like, it is, sir, just go for it. You're gonna probably be, like, bottom four of each alliance, but at least someone likes you, like a Logan. I don't know, I was yelling at him. And then Goody, I was like, don't pull a Rainier vote with the majority come on like i was trying to like what should we call it like come on oh i was so hyped upcoming travel council and then it was revealed that aiden couldn't make it and i was so mad but then i was so happy because he gave logan his rip um what's it called his advantage steal a vote steal a vote um okay but like and also he also gave logan his vote which I was like, this is amazing. So it's Logan so technically had three votes this this tribal. Technically, he had a triple vote, and then he wanted to blindside Raul. During my thought process, I was like, I kind of want to see Rebecca go in a way, like you know what I mean. But then he I was can't like, can't get rid of Rebecca. Immunity. Yeah. So can we go directly to Logan's tribal as well? Sure. sure. So after tribal for Kabe. Everyone was like, one big happy family, you know, sing kumbaya, share the Kool-Aid, stuff like that. Just like, basically giving off BS excuses, like saying that there's nothing wrong. Logan full on literally destroyed that whole like friendship, like family with him just saying, oh yeah, I know I'm going to be the next target. Oh, I'm like, you know what I mean? He was just basically calling out their BS and saying, oh, I never said anything personal about Rebecca. Seb, you're a liar. Seb, why are you trying to do stuff? And then Seb got mad. I was so annoyed at Seb because it was like he seemed so happy, but when things go his way, he gets quiet and annoyed. And then I saw this little feud with Seb and Logan during Tribal. Okay, Eve, what are your thoughts on this? I think it's completely played up for the camera. I don't think that they're at all as bad as it is um i think that maybe yeah they don't like each other they maybe have conflicting personalities but i think the way it was portrayed for the camera was completely off to how it probably actually was because everything's obviously going to be hyped up i feel like the kumbaya wasn't really there for me because you can clearly see by the confessionals that something's gonna happen no, no, you can see what, they're not that's what i'm saying together. it's like at tribal council everyone was like like happy one big happy family you know just i felt like they were trying to play it safe so that nothing happens right make logan feel a little bit comfortable just in case he had like an idol or something like that kyle in that situation what were your reactions during this whole tribal like <laughs> i was insanely shocked even though i knew logan had three votes 
I thought for certain Logan was still just going to go out five to three because I didn't think anyone was going to flip. I, I was confident in the majority alliance and I just thought Logan was pretty much all alone other than the fact that he got Aiden. And just seeing people's confessionals, seeing Seb, Rebecca, Jonah, Raul be so insanely confident that Logan was going out the door before tribal council ever happened, before the fact. I was just sitting there like, this sucks because I didn't want Logan to go anywhere. Logan was my favorite from that tribe just because he was such a massive underdog. Yeah. Although in Survivor, it's more likely than not the underdog's just going to go rather than pull off a miracle. But we got insanely lucky that Logan pulled off a miracle and we got some amazing content out of it. <laughs> well, yeah, we also didn't yeah. no, we didn't hear anything from James or Goody that entire week. They don't they yeah. didn't post confessionals. So they were like unknowns. And even though we thought Logan was still going out, we were like, okay, this, this is pretty good content. This is the most exciting trial we've had in a while. So yeah. yeah. It was just crazy. I, I this was a smart move on Logan's part. He steals Seb's vote, so it makes them think that Seb was the target. If I was in that situation, I would not think Seb was the vote, though. Like, that was, like, Great. what I would have Yeah, well, the thing is, I was like, Rebecca there's something else I'll, going on. I'll at least say this. Rebecca and Jonah both complained to production afterward that Rebecca should be given back the idol because she was the only reason she played it was because she was confused as to how a steal of vote worked. Her understanding of it, apparently, was that a steal of vote you could steal someone's vote and only cast that stolen vote for the person you stole it from. And that, and that was their reasoning for why Rebecca should be given back an idol because she was confused as to how it worked. <laughs> that happened? That's yeah. not, yeah. no. <laughs> I'm yeah, but that was, that was funny though, because it, it was like, Jonas is super fan. He should probably know this. Yeah. yeah. And then, Oh, no, 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 it's not Jonah's fault, it's Rebecca. She did not No, know. but Jonah was, Jonah was on that bandwagon. Jonah yeah, Jonah like... was hardcore. I think also, I mean, I'll give it to just like prefaces, I'll say like, I think they were, a lot of it came from just being caught up in the heat of the moment. They just got blindsided very roughly. Hmm. So yeah. I think it was just, they were real angry, really confused and looking to did just- Did you not <laughs> Jonah's wrong. face during tribal? It was hilarious. I was like, oh my God, he is in, he's mortified because now it's four, the four underdogs versus the three top dogs. The game just just switched. Did they, they did a full 180. They like, I'm just impressed by these two people, like these four people, like those four, um, the other guys, correct? That's what yes. they're called. They're the only ones that I really like in the cast. Like, I feel like they're, yes. going, they're going pretty far together if they stick together, but when it comes to merge, I don't see them making it that far. So when it comes down to the boat, Rebecca used the narrow on Seb. Yep, that was her mistake. It was wasted because Seb had zero votes that tribal. Seb's comment towards Logan, I didn't Fuck like. Fuck my ass, Logan. I liked it. No, I no, but what Logan did was super on. smart. He he reacted like, oh shit. He like, yeah. oh no, you played the idol for Seb. Oh no. Did like he, he yeah. played it so well so that so he that, play it like himself. rebecca didn't like okay never mind i want to save raul or jonah and then it was revealed logan had three votes and raul had five after there was three votes on logan i was like okay yep yeah, that's it but then the fourth one i was like come on james <laughs> i was like praying for him and okay literally they could confirm on snapchat like after the after this happened i was just hyping up logan like i was so proud so impressed i was just like i had a lot to talk about logan i'm full on rooting for him i think he is probably one of the best players i've seen on virtual survivor you know what i mean but like his position's still kind of bad when it comes down to the merge considering there's a other guy there's another alliance snapchat seven you know, if he was able to maneuver his way over here and become like a top dog, he can maneuver his way probably to the finale. Like I could see him going far. It's just all about how he, he rebounds. He he has to, it's, okay, sure, it was a great move, but now he has to think about the future. How is, because now it's just a, what, a 4-3 advantage he has? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So someone, James has flipped before. What's saying James won't, James or Goody won't flip again? I don't know. I don't, I don't. He's got to be able to hold that. It's still, he's in a precarious situation because he has, by virtue of 
making a flash an amazing move, it has made himself the biggest threat very early on. So it's something he's going to have to manage um, really carefully. And everyone was saying that they wanted to work with Rebecca. So everyone was saying they wanted to work with Rebecca. Who says that they won't all just go back to no, work no, with that's... Rebecca? That's what I'm saying. Say, say if those three, okay, like I'm predicting, there might be a tribe swap. I feel like with if Logan's put in a position with those three, like Jonah, Rebecca, and uh, who's the other one? Seb, like all in that tribe, who says that they won't vote him out? Also, when it comes down to the merge, like say if like Rebecca, um, Jonah, and Seb, who says that they won't flip on the original Kabe, right? So that's what I'm saying. Seeing, I feel like Logan is still going to be an underdog, and it's gonna be like an uphill battle, like each and every single episode. That's how I see it. And yeah, for... it's not he, he's not gonna be a hero after this, like or like he's not gonna be the top dog, guaranteed after this. Mm-hmm. I don't, I don't see him. Like I see him still being the underdog. Like sure, he was the top dog for this episode, but I could still see him as the underdog this season. And to answer your question, um, Kyle, if James and Goody flip back, especially James, that's, I didn't like that. It wouldn't be a good move from James. You know what I mean? You're basically That, that was, was Declan, not me. That was Wait. me. Oh Wait. my god, Declan. Okay. We had the same thought process, Kyle. When did I say that? You said it puts him in a precarious situation. I heard someone oh, yeah. say, okay. like, if, who says that James and Goody wouldn't flip yeah, back? Yeah, that, that was me. That was me. Okay. I'd like to answer Declan's question now. I don't think it would be a good move for James or Goody, especially Goody. I don't think it would be a good move for him since he wasn't even in this five. That's how I see it. And also, yeah. if they do flip on Logan and Aiden, it'll still be three to two. All right. And now we actually have a little bit of a surprise for the virtual um, Survivor fans because now we're going to talk about Jeromu, where we're also going to include a special guest. And introducing from Virtual Survivor Season 2, Tyler Simmons! Woo! Oh my god! He is our surprise <laughs> guest, everyone. So basically, now we're going to talk about the Jerome Moon Tribal, and we actually have Tyler, who was there and could give his feedback and his thought process on what has been going on. So, Tyler, at the very start of this travel council, how did you feel? Like, were you confident? Like, what were your thought process uh, into it? At the start of this one, I was, yeah, I was, I was pretty nervous going into it. And there wasn't really a sense of, like, like being sure that I was going to be here the next day. So. Oh, so, like, before tribal, no, um, it was, before tribal, it was, like, um, confusing. Like, did you hear your name go around or no? There was, um, Jesse, uh, had heard my name being spoken about, um, but I didn't think it would be, you know, all the votes, you know, about four of them, so, you know, I had some suspicion I'd get, you know, a couple votes, but it turned out being the target anyway. Okay. All right. So let's talk about this whole Jeromu tribal. We see Jesse, he's nervous about the, he's nervous, but then he's like, he hopes that he has a line. That he said he has alliances that he had made. I don't know what alliances he has, considering it was not aired on this episode. I'm pretty sure one it had to be consistent with like you. I don't know who else, but all in, I know there was like an, a final six alliance that did not include Jesse that you were a part of, correct? Like based off yes, of correct. Alliance. Okay, and you felt confident with them, right? Uh, yeah, a little bit before that travel counts. I believe that you know. That was the only thing going on. And then, you know, I watch all these episodes back and I was wrong. So let's see. Scott was like a little bit in this episode, but like he also said that the vote is straightforward. It seems like the Snapchat 7 just like knew what was going to happen. And based off the votes, we have Hudson voting for you, Tyler. We have Jesse voting for Nick, and I, I honestly thought he was just clueless because I was like, I didn't I didn't think that you were able to get Jesse to like be around your finger. I'll give you props for that. And then we have like Sierra voting for Jesse. Does Sierra and Jesse have like a little feud, Declan, or no? <laughs> no, not at all. No. Just a little I bit. Think, no, it was just a it was a split the vote plan. Okay. Yeah. Because I Oh my god, it was like Sierra's petty, like, um, confessional type of when he's voting. It was just hilarious to see. Oh, Sierra's a funny guy. Yeah, he is. And 
Let's see. So the votes happened, and Tyler, I have to say, your expression when you realized you had two votes, it was hilarious. I was like, yeah. oh my god, he realized something's going on. And then when you got three votes, I was like, okay, I see how they split the votes. Four on you, four on Jesse, two on Nick. Um, I'm not surprised that the vote, the idols weren't used. What are your thoughts on that big alliance, like outside of the, a game's perspective? Like as a viewer, what are your thoughts on that seven? As a viewer, I think it's closed-minded. They said, Scott said in an earlier episode that he was just trying to make me feel comfortable, but really they weren't trying to have any conversations about actually working with anybody else. Once they had their seven alliance, it was like, that was it. We don't need the whole rest of the cast, you know? So as a viewer, I maybe, you know, it looks, it looks good, but as a player, that's quite frustrating to know that, you know, shoot, I only have, have Jesse and Michaela to work with. So. I just want to say, Tyler, I, in a way, it was conflicting. I was conflicting about rooting for you simply for the fact that you were on the bottom and you were messing with these un the fellow underdogs' minds too. But I also understand why, because you felt as if you were good, like the position you were in were good. You have like a final three with Scott and Hudson. Mm -hmm. and just like you felt okay but i was just like it was hard it was like a like hard to root for you because you're doing these like moves too where it's like you're creating fake idols what were your what's your thought process on creating a fake idol like okay so when i came up with this idea i i had believed that i was okay like i wasn't in the bottom all right so my idea was to give this to jesse um in hopes of him like pinning it on like hey i think this is you know hope i was trying to get him to pin it on Devin. so i was saying you know trying to feed him little bits of information like okay hey, this could be Devin, because he was telling me everything he was like dude i got this idol uh i had one of my tribe council and this is who i after that tribe council it's like okay this is who i kind of think it was and he was i was hoping he would just come up and say like dude i think this is Devin," and i was going to try to get that majority, you know, of Andrew Hudson, Scott, and all them to try to try to vote out Devin and kind of keep the target off my back. So but, it was more you know, of it turned just, out that yeah. yeah. So it's basically more you try to pin this idol on Devin, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. So okay, after the votes were revealed, you were eliminated, and before you left the call, Devin wanted to be petty. I called, I literally labeled it Devin, Petty Devin. And he was like, if you take a shot at me, you can't miss. <laughs> Did that like, like what were your thoughts on that comment? Oh yeah, yeah, you know, it was, it was a great gameplay by him, I guess. But you know, as I got out of there as soon as I can, you know, I didn't want to deal with this anymore. But he decided to, to DM me as soon as I got voted out and just try to blow up my phone and explain everything about his whole master plan to get me out. Like, dude, I don't care. Like. I, like, don't talk to me. Wait, if he did that, then he's probably like kind of nervous. Like, just in case y'all, you know, you're, there's a redemption island, you know, just in case because he has a oh, yeah, yeah. advantage. Oh my God, edge of extinction, so stuff like that. Okay, but like Tyler, okay, Kyle, Declan, what are your questions for Tyler? I mean, I've been sort of a part of the season for a while, but I don't really have a lot of questions. I've had, there's been a lot of discussion just with the season two cast. Most things that I wanted answered have come to light. And I can say in Tyler's praise, I absolutely love watching him play, even if it was something, even if his moves didn't necessarily help him. He was amazing to watch play just because he always brought it in confessionals. He was so entertaining to watch. And while I'm kind of sad he got taken out so early because I would have loved to see what he would have done had he made it further, I still loved him for the time he had in the game just because he brought so much to the season in his brief time. Yeah, I mean, he was a great villain for the pre-merge. It was just those couple episodes. He Just the amount of confessionals he had where he brought that great energy, brought that, you know, maniacal kind of vibes i really enjoyed it and i may not i may not have agreed with his moves and thought they were the best but it was definitely entertaining to watch and i, I respect him as a player i'll give him I that he made it farther than me so i have to respect it but also <laughs> i'll give him that i don't know every single time someone tries to do like this secret account it always like backfires it's like this curse like for example guinea with gossip girl and then tyler with this fake production instagram account and giving it to jesse <laughs> 
I don't know. I think for future viewers, just try to play the game. But like, if you try to like, you know, like do make a fake alliances, just like, no, not fake alliances, fake advantages. Just like message me, and I have plenty of ideas. Like that. <laughs> yeah. But, I mean, I can. Sorry, I can at least say that. Like, I mean, there were. I, it, when I was viewing this as it was happening. I saw parallels between Seb on the other tribe and Tyler on this tribe and that they were both doing more than I thought was necessary although I think Seb handled it better just because he was in a he was in a really decent spot on his tribe and he had good relationships he fair play to Seb he told Rebecca about a fake advantage he had and Rebecca wholeheartedly believed it for that time so I think Seb handle it better. And I just think I saw those parallels where they were both being ultra villains on their tribes. Absolutely like entertainment gods. They were both on their original tribes. And it was just so awesome to watch them both. And I just saw that parallel between them early on. I, as a, just to speak from my perspective where you could see these odd parallels between the two of them early on. And I just think it's so odd because to see Seb on the other tribe, who is this British guy, brash, but so much fun to see. And then Tyler, who's this, I don't, not just not, not just, this is like a compliment to who's just, who gives off this vibe, like a wholehearted American. And he's just, and he's just play, playing his heart out, making moves, making fake idols. And it was just so entertaining to watch both of them and to speak to Tyler. Yeah, just such an amazing pre-merge villain. It's kind of like a, Marco and Cody kind of vibe that I'm getting. Oh, yeah. Like I'm yeah. If I feel like if they had got, I feel like if they had gotten to merge together, it oh, would yeah. have been so been... entertaining. Oh, oh yeah. Like, <laughs> that, like another fight between like, t like you think Tyler and like Seb would have gone like into a little bit of an argument. Honestly, yeah. I was. They either would have been best friends. They either would have been best friends or best best enemies. Yeah, or the worst of enemies. Either way, it would have been entertaining. Yeah. So my other question for Tyler is that: Would you play again? And if so, what would you do differently? Oof. Would I play again, man? Um, you know, watching this back, I, you know, I could have definitely made some changes, some better decisions. But I was kind of back up against wall, didn't know what else to do. So I feel like it'd be hard to come in again without this preconceived notion that look Tyler's a villain we're gonna get him out quick but I think overall I think I could possibly try and erase that and I think I would come back and play and see if I can play a little bit better game. Steve, any questions? Last comments? Zorna? Um, no I just I just want to say like I really liked your idea with the um, fake idol thing it's a shame it didn't work out but you had a lot of potential. So it's sad that you didn't go far. All right. I think that concludes yeah. the podcast um, for today or for this um, week's podcast. Um, thanks for watching and stay tuned for more podcasts coming up. Do um, we want to do most valuable? Oh, wait, players? yeah, most valuable. Oh, my God. I totally forgot about that. Okay, so most valuable player. Are we going to just do one from each tribe because there was yeah, some for this For our purposes today, we, I think we can. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, you know, I don't want to be biased and all, but I'm going to say the most valuable players for um, this episode are Devin and um, Logan. Um, I'd agree there. Honestly, I'd say there's actually there would actually be an argument to be made potentially for Aiden. But just looking at who was at tribal, who was fighting so hard and who was on the bottom, I'd have to give it to Logan. And for the other tribe, it'd be between Hudson for sussing out the fake idol initially and Devin for like being the opposing figure to Tyler. I think overall, especially given Devin got an advantage from Michaela this episode, I'd have to err on the side of Devin in this particular situation. But I would say it's contentious for me between Hudson and Devin. Mm -hmm. All right, Declan? Uh, I would say for sure Logan. Logan probably had the single, as of right now, the best tribal council performance I've ever seen just based on is him socially talking to people the way he manipulated them the way he flushed the idol it was just everything was top notch and then dromu no one stood out like exceptionally but i would have to choose probably Devin. he got the idol based on his social connection with michaela that's awesome and then he was able to get how his the person that was opposing him in tyler right you um 
think everything's been said for Logan, so I'll go with him when you all go with James. He played like he played the middle well, he could choose. At the end of the day, Logan's move was brilliant, but if James and Goody hadn't flipped, then Logan would have gone. So I'm gonna give props to James for that. I would give it to Goody as well, but it's only one and James is actually in the alliance. So give it to James there and then I'll also agree with what Kyle said and be for me between Hudson and Devon on the other tribe. Tyler, Tyler what, about, what about you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. What, what about you, Tyler? <laughs> oh boy, uh, definitely Logan and Hudson for me. I like Logan's tribal council and um, the fact that Hudson was kind of seeing through all my BS really was kind of stand out to me. So, all right. All well, right. Uh, yeah. Wait, wait, Kyle, what are you gonna say? No, I was just gonna say like, all right, I think. We got all we got it all in. You got it all in. All right, Declan, you want to take the outro away like you just did the intro, like what? Nah, bro, you got that. I don't no, know I, I, I got that. Kyle, do it. All right, no hard feelings for anything I had to say about anyone. I'll preface and say this was strictly about gameplay and virtual. Survivor. Nothing personal. It was Nothing all about personal. game. Just because I I will comfortably say I love everyone on the cast. They all brought it and they were all so entertaining. I have nothing personal against anyone, and I want to make that very clear. I hope Dr. Yeah. Declan wants to make that pretty clear as well. Yes, Maybe yes, we're a bit yes. biased because we were on production, but I just want to make that clear. I love everybody on the cast, and I'm sure Declan does too. And I'm sure yep. Elispio, if he got to talk with everybody, he'd love everyone too. <laughs> and uh, well, I know Eve. Old. Eve is just a loving presence, and I know Tyler's just a big teddy <laughs> bear. So <laughs> from all of us on the Virtual Survivor After Show, Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you guys next week. All right, bye, everyone. Bye.